Hello everyone, this is MS Gill, and today I'm going to teach you, this has been requested by on, on a number of channels that I've seen, and somebody has requested it to me in the comments, but I'm going to teach you how to install Windows Whistler build 2419. So I'm going to type in, I went to, I went to new, and uh, got, and this is where I'm at now, so, yeah, my poor typing skills. So I'm going to type in 2419. You can type in whatever you want. And then I'm going to go XP. Click Next. I'm going to give mine 512 megabytes of RAM. You can give yours more or less. Um, I'm going to create a virtual hard disk now. I'm going to make mine fixed size because I just like it being, you know, same size every time. Uh, I'm going to give mine 10 gigs. That's fine. And it's going to create the... Um, the whole thing so I might just pause it here I'll be right back oh yes before this go to your settings mine happens to be right here I just click date and time settings um, I had to um, take off the set date and time automatically go to change on date and time on Windows XP it's much simpler than this and then change it to January 23rd 2001 so that way Whistler uh, day and uh, year. I will include an ISO and a um, a key in the description so um, the key will be in a text file for you to download and so yeah um, you'll probably need um, 7-zip to extract the uh, um, the ISO because the website that I get it off of does it all in 7-zip so you can just download 7-Zip if you just do a quick Google search for it. So I'll be right back. All right, now that that is done loading, I'm going to go up to Settings. I'm going to go to Storage. I'm going to click on this right here that says Empty. I'm going to click there. And you will find wherever the ISO is. Mine's right here. So I'm going to click there. Click OK. And I'm going to click Start. And it's going to load this. Oh, these stupid VirtualBox messages. As you can see, I upgraded to VirtualBox 5. Um, uh, VirtualBox 4.0.34, I believe, was giving me all sorts of problems. So I uh, decided to upgrade, and this one seems to be working much better. And uh, somebody asked in the comments uh, for this. This is uh, Chicago Build 73, which I will be doing in the future. As you can see, I got to work. Um, but that was after fighting with VirtualBox for a little while. So that will be coming up soon. Um, I don't know why it's still running. Apparently I left it running. Um, in fact, there's a glitch with it that uh, if I shut it down, it won't load back up again. So I just save the state, which, um, funny enough, comes back up in this. Anyway, click Enter. And then it'll ask you to if you want to install Whistler, so click Enter. I just click F8 because I'm not going to read all this. Click Enter. Click Enter. And uh, so it's going to format the uh, the disk, which is actually pretty quick because it's not a real disk. So it's going to uh, determine the size of the disk. It says it'll take a few minutes, but it was instant. Um, it's going to it's going to quote unquote take several minutes to copy a few files. It just gets hung up on a few of them. Otherwise, it's pretty quick. Let's see. I mean, I, I'm sure I'm real hardware back in the day. This would have taken a little bit longer. But this goes pretty quick at the moment. See? There you go. Now it's going to reboot. I'm going to click enter after I remove this right here. I'm going to remove it from the virtual drive and click enter. It's going to restart. And I guarantee it'll ask for it again as soon as I get past this. But um, the uh, right now it, it's said to take any floppy disks out, but it's just going to start Windows here. And I absolutely love this right here. I'm sure you've heard me gush over it before, but I absolutely love it. 
I wish they would have kept it, to be honest. Because I really like that, that logo right there. That uh, The old logo is my favorite of all time. So I'm going to put this in full screen because I'm sure a lot of you uh, probably don't appreciate that I just leave it in window mode most of the time. So I'll just do this as it loads up. I'll be right. Oh, no, I guess not. So now it's going to keep installing. Um, I'm going to insert the disk back in. Setup will take approximately 31 minutes. I don't know if I believe that or not. Might. I don't know. It's been a while. This looks a lot like what XP ended up. And I, it's interesting to see the development throughout all this. Um, so yeah, this will load. It's going to install all the devices and copy files and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so it said it installed devices. And now it's just going to do the system locale and user locales and whatnot. Um, pretty much just keyboard settings. So I just click next type in my n username well uh, not really a username but name and then I will type in the product key real quickly I'll be right back alright I got the product key in I was going to ask for a computer name I'm just going to call mine uh, MS Gill no need for an administrator password you can put one if you want but I don't think I need one I'm not going to adjust for daylight savings it says the correct year on there for this. Um, see, it now it's going to install the network. I'll be right back. All right, so now that that's complete, I'm going to click next because I like the typical settings. Uh, no, do not do this, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's not on network, so set for work group. It's going to load that. And... Uh, so yeah, real exciting now. 25 minutes now, we're down to. I don't think it will take that long, but this thing's going to sit here and load for a few, so I'll be right back. All right, so now it has switched to the copying phase, which since it's an ISO, it's pretty quick. So yeah, and it'll have all this information here. CD burning, which is a new thing. You can uh, easily you can save data to the CD RW drive as easily as you save a floppy disk. Fancy pants stuff. It's completing the installation now. Whistler features great improvement for the mobile professional. We've increased battery life so you can work longer, and remote desktop allows you to access applications and data from another computer connected to your corporate network. Microsoft's ClearType technology makes LCD screens more readable and by increasing horizontal resolution by 300%. Yeah, I'm sure that's not too exciting me reading all this stuff. Because, I don't know. I, I can't imagine that's boring. Or I, I can't imagine that's too interesting. So now it's just doing you know, registering components and everything. Pretty much your typical install of Windows. Notice how that's going on really fast now. Much faster than it was before. Oh, text messages. Ooh. We're now in the 2000s. We're not on dial-up anymore. And as you notice, it says Internet Explorer 6.0. However, it's not the same Internet Explorer that ended up in XP as you'll see, or if you watch my other video, you'll know. Um, so now it's just registering the components. So instead of watching all this, I will be right back. All right, so now we're at the end. And uh, it says one or more minor errors installing Whistler. Um, so I don't want to look at the log file now, but it will close out of that. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's a reboot right here. Not sure. Because right now we just got a blue screen. 
and just like I said in my ME video, luckily it's not the blue screen of death. Yep, it restarted. Do not press any key. Do not press one key at all. Because then it'll just take you right back to the setup, and you'll just be restarting and restarting every time you do that. How fun. So now it's just going to load Whistler. See, starting Windows. Microsoft codename Whistler. Build 2419. And see, I'm going to do the out of box experience. So, do you want Windows to automatically correct your screen resolution and color depth settings? Yes. Do you want to keep the settings? Yes. So here it goes. It's going to load into it. Just so you know, that sound. Oh, here's Merlin. Welcome to Microsoft Windows. I am Merlin. I'm available to assist you through this one time process. At, if at any time you need my help, just click the picture of me here or press the F1 key on your keyboard. I'll be right here if you need me. Alrighty, maybe I shouldn't do voices. Anyway, um, so this is almost what it ended up in XP. Um, so this is just, uh, and just so you know, the sound is jumbled and, uh, which is normal. So I don't want to activate right now. I am, I am the only person who will regularly use this computer. Your first name. I'm just going to do this. And then next. It says thank you. Here we go. So now it's configured for internet access and everything else. Didn't need help from you, Merlin. Sorry. So now it's just going to load everything. All the uh, loading is going on right now. I will be right back. All right, so now... The nice Whistler background. So here you go. It's installed. You can connect to the internet through this, which I might just do. Create a new internet connection. Uh, no, don't take my modem wrong button. Yes, close the wizard. Gee whiz. That's what I wanted. LAN. Use automatic. Finish. There you go. There's Microsoft Windows Whistler. And it can handle um, higher resolutions and stuff in the settings here. Um, like I could do that. See? Much better. Alright, so I'll leave you to uh, explore this on your own. As for me, this is MS Gill. And uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you liked it, leave a like, comment. I'll be happy to answer questions. Um, if you're feeling generous, leave a subscribe. I've this channel is growing and I love it. I thank you all for that. And uh, I uh, thank you for watching this video once again. Um, so I plan to do a top 10 windows uh, coming up soon and how to install Windows Chicago um, build 73 upcoming. So, um, so that's pretty much everything. Um, any questions, leave them for me in the comments. Alrighty, I am MS Gill, signing off. One more thing before I go. Um, to save this machine state, as you, could say, uh, as you could see, it's 2016 again. Just go to save the virtual machine state and click OK. And you can fire it up at any time with the original settings. So, now I'm officially leaving. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya. Bad stories.